In this episode of the Yellowstone National Park Trail Guide series, I take you on a journey along the spectacular thermal features found on the Artemisia Trail, ending with a beautiful, sapphire-colored Artemisia geyser. Trailhead to Artemisia Geyser can be found three miles north of Old Faithful on the east side of the road along a parking area to the Biscuit Basin boardwalks. So I'm at the uh, the Artemisia Trail, which is a kind of a geyser basin trail in Yellowstone, and it looks like it could be really, really cool. It seems to go past a couple of geysers at the very start. It's already next to some of this built-up geyser field, so I'm gonna spend some time walking through there and see what kind of adventures this trail takes me on. The upper geyser basin was formed by ice and fire. Glaciers carved out spaces for water to pool, and the magma chamber beneath the surface of Yellowstone heats the water to boiling temperatures. I really do think that these thermal features are just the essence of Yellowstone. If there's one thing that you have to kind of ask yourself, what about this place makes it what it is. I think this underground magma chamber that's grown inside Yellowstone and creates all of these magnificent, amazing displays of how that heat affects the landscape and the water system and all of the bacteria and other creatures that live inside those thermal pools. I just absolutely love it. And I love the fact that there are trails that go right past these things that are pretty un untrampled. You know, there's very, very few people out here. I saw so far, I think it's like one person on this trail. So it's pretty amazing. In the geyser basins, it's always important to stay on the trails and well-traveled ground. What appears flat and solid may unexpectedly crumble, revealing boiling water beneath. The thermal pools in Yellowstone act as habitat for some of the most remarkable microbes on Earth, tiny life forms capable of surviving the extreme conditions in the pools. Amazingly, when you see different colors in the pool waters, you are seeing unique species of bacteria that thrive in those particular ranges of temperature and acidity. time a lot of the bison will hang out on the edges of these thermal pools sometimes breaking through some of the surrounding crust and ending in a pretty gruesome way but when you sit next to them you can totally see why there's just this amazing feeling of warmth when you're kind of at the edge of the pools obviously you don't want to go inside because it's you know straight up boiling but um, when you're on the outside it's a lot like the, the feeling of being in a hot tub or something it's this very pleasant kind of steam that goes there and of course during the winter time the thermal features also melt all the surrounding snow, which means that any of the spare bits of grass that may be in the area, the bison are able to access around these thermal features. Whereas otherwise, they would have to bury their heads in the snow and kick it around, and uh, it's a very different kind of existence. So thermal pools, in a lot of ways, are a kind of double-edged sword for a lot of the wildlife in Yellowstone. They can be uh, their, their saviors, but they can also potentially kill them. Pass by the aptly named Gem Pool, you'll reach an overlook with a view of Artemisia Geyser below. If you are lucky, you will see the geyser erupt, shooting superheated water into the air from its deep blue depths. <music> 
Along the trail, you can see a point where the cold waters of the Firehole River join the boiling waters of the Geyser Basin. I just love this merchants of worlds here, where you have this kind of river running through these rapids, what you expect of, of like mountain creeks and streams, and then just at the edge of it, there's a hot pool being superheated from the magma chamber. And so it's just like these two different universes of water, one cold and clear, and one very, very hot. you'll reach the boardwalked areas of the Upper Geyser Basin. In safer times, I would have enjoyed its beauty, but I was grateful for what I got to experience and film for you all.